Alright. We live. Yo, this is Brothers for Life. We sit here and watch an electric event. This now this is the preliminary event for the new covenant. Hebrew Hebrew Israel Life debate that's coming up December seventh in Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> Come to perform at our center, 1020 East 48th Street. All right. Brooklyn, New York. 1230. Goes down. It's going to be electrified. There's a bus leaving here from Black and Nobel at 10 o'clock, so get here early. That's right. Bus is $50. Make sure you get here. All right. What time that bus leaving? What time that bus leaving? Bus leaves at 10 o'clock, so you know, be here early. Be here by 9, 9.30 at Black and Nobel. And the bus ride is $50 plus price of admission. Uh, the admission is $20 in advance, 30 at the door. All right? So make sure y'all get to that event. It's a must-see event. And also, this brother right here had the opportunity to check out my DVD. My name is Professor Carl Tone Jones. Yeah, it's off the chain. Very relevant. Very critical. And you need to get it. You need to take a look at it. Rewind it a couple of times and play it back. Very informative DVD. All right? The race needs it right now. What about us? What the verdict meant for us? Written down got the details and the criteria of the George Simmons and verdict in the Trayvon Martin case. Be there. Check this. Check us. We get with you. Black and Love. Love. All right, brothers. Uh, it's the brother uh, Karatazar from the GMS at Boston City Camp. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory. Due to uh, Yahab Bashem Yahushai, I want to give uh, double honors to the elders that rule well, and uh, salute and peace to all you brothers out there that's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And best, basically, uh, I just want to, you know, get in a little bit into this uh, this so-called debate that's supposed to be going on tomorrow, you know, between uh, you know, the black conscious guys, you know, as you saw in the video. You know, this dude, uh, Polite, or No Light, you know, him and, and his, uh, cronies are supposed to have a debate with, uh, with the ISUPK, you know, Johannes people, and, uh, they're supposed to have a debate tomorrow, so, uh, basically, I just want to, uh, touch up on it because, uh, it's a reason why, you know, the brothers here at GMS is not going to partake in that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to basically, you know, that's going to be the basis of this, you know, little quick lesson. Uh, basically, there is a difference between debating in righteousness and debating in wickedness. Now, what these guys are doing is, as you can see, their debate is going to be based on madness. Because, first of all, they're trying to sell a show, you know, they're trying to make money off of it. You know, so that's, 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 that's one thing that you can say about this. It's basically just a, a money-making scheme. And a lot of you niggas that's going to uh, buy into it, you're going to spend your money. And you're going to uh, go up in there and, and basically get entertained by two group of, of, of uh, niggas that just want to look good in front of people, you know. That's that 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 right there. That's that's the now. That's what you call debating and wickedness, man. You know what 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 cause is is this for? Like what what what's the point of debating when you know that the two parties are not gonna agree with each other whatsoever? And if you think that you're gonna convert anybody, you gonna have to think that again because all this basically is is just entertainment, man. Jake is gonna go to this debate so they can be entertained, and you see what that dude polite. That dude basically is in it for the money, you know. You saw the uh, the the checkered the checkered uh, jacket he got on. Masons is about money, man, making their money, and that's exactly what that's about, you know. But what I want to do is uh, I want to just go into it, you know, go into the scriptures and and bring out why, you know, what I'm saying the brothers at GMS aren't going to partake in that. We debate in righteousness. And we're going to get that in the scriptures, okay? Now, the first scripture I want to bring out is uh, Proverbs 25 and 9. And it says, Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a secret to another. And that's basically all we do when we are out there on the highways and hedges. You know, we debate thy cause, you know, meaning 
you know, we fight, we fight for the faith, you know, that, you, uh, which is this word, man, we have faith in this word, we know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, gave the inspiration to, to jot these words down in the book, and that's, and that's why you see brothers constantly, you know, uh, and heavily into the scriptures, studying the scriptures, teaching the scriptures. We believe in this in this word, man. And this word is true. And if anybody comes against this word, our job is to basically debate them or contend with them about about the about our faith, man. To show that we have faith in this thing, you know. And I'm gonna look up this word debate real quick. Okay. Now, uh, the Hebrew right, the Hebrew word there is rayab, rayab, which basically means to to strive, contend. You know, it says uh, with words to conduct a case or suit to make complaint. Highways and the hedges. We out there contending for the faith, man. We out here defending the gospel, like the scriptures say. You know, that's what you call debating in righteousness. Okay. You know, fighting, fighting for the, uh, for the truth, for truth's sake. You know. Let me get another scripture real quick. Book of Jude, chapter one, verse three. It says, "Beloved, when I when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints." You know, and this is uh, this is Jude speaking. You know, he wrote he wrote it down to let them know that they should earnestly. Fight for the faith that was once delivered unto them, man. That's why. It, that's why uh, it says to uh, fight the good fight of faith, man. Cause that's what it boils all down to, your faith. You know, you better contend for your faith, and that's what we out there doing. So when we out there on the highways and hedges, and we calling dudes out that's teaching false doctrine, that, that's just us basically contending for the faith, man. Like the scriptures told us to do. When we come against Nate and and uh, Johanna and and Bubbleize and all them different guys, we doing that because we contending for our faith, man. Because we really have faith in this in, in this word, man. We have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and we be damned if we let anybody pervert the gospel which was delivered unto us. Okay. So this is this is an example of debating in righteousness, deba debating thy cause. You know, if you teaching a false doctrine, we're going to debate, we're going to debate thy cause about that, man. We're not going to go into no worldly ass knowledge and try to get together in a, in a controlled setting and, and, and try to uh, make each other look bad in front of our audience, man. This is not what this is about, you know. That's not what this is about, man. We ain't, we ain't here for, for uh, amusement and entertainment and to make money off of people, man. The scriptures told us to buy this truth and sell it not, man. But you, but you know, Johanna's boys is down with this, you know, because Johanna, he's a, he's that type of dude, you know. The elders speak about that all the time, man. Hey, all of, all these other groups is about that money, you know. Let me go to another scripture. Uh... This is uh, Philippians 1 and 17. It says, But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. You know, that's Apostle Paul speaking. And Paul was definitely a defender of this word, man. That's why it was always, it was actual contentions, but he did, he did it in righteousness, man. He had faith. He fought that good fight of faith until uh, he finished his course. You know, 
And that's what we are supposed to do as men of the Lord, man. Paul wasn't with the games. He wasn't out there debating with the uh, with, with the with the scribes and the Pharisees and 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 the wicked ass Israelites in these different lands that was coming against them over the gospel. He didn't do that for entertainment. He didn't do that for no amusement. He didn't do that to get paid. You know. And, and, and matter of fact, since we at it, let me look up this word defense. Strong's G six twenty seven. Apologia. Apologia. Which basically means uh, verbal defense, speech in defense, a reason statement or argument. So when we call these guys out, what are we what, what are we doing? You know, what are the elders doing when they call these men out? They basically making a, a statement or argument in righteousness defending the gospel, the word, man. And correcting you and reproving you on it. Calling you out on your on, on your errors and your doctrines, man. Going when you're going off. That's defending the gospel, man. Don't you know don't you know the scripture said in Galatians that if a man uh pervert the gospel, let him be accursed? You are cursed for doing that, man. So it's better that men actually check you on that and 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 Defend the gospel and call you call you out where you going off at, man. But 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 you men out there are proud and you can't take you know reproof correction. So the Most High got to do something drastic to your ass, man. You know. Now we uh what we what we what we do, you know what I'm saying, uh, us brothers. You know, that's out there preaching this word. We we just trying to wake up the elect, man. We're not trying to entertain black people or try to teach all black people that they're going to be saved. Because the scriptures don't say that, you know. The scriptures tell us to, you know, preach the gospel, be instant in season and not a season. And, and, and the gospel is that the, only the elect is going to be saved up out of here. Yahweh Shai is coming back to redeem the elect. Everybody else that's not a part of that, they're going to be destroyed, man, straight up and down. Because that's what the gospel says. All right? Let me get uh, one more uh, scripture for dealing with uh, uh, righteous debating. This is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15. It says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man. That ask of you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And that's exactly what we do, man. You know, and all brothers that's, you know, that's coming into this, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to answer every man in righteousness, in meekness. And that's what the elders did when they dealt with that dude, uh, no light, man. They dealt with him. They answered every question that man had for them. They went into the scriptures. They broke it down to him. In meekness, it wasn't no, it wasn't no fight, it wasn't no confusion. You know, they 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 did what was commanded of them. You know, but it's like why why try to debate with them again, with with this dude again when this man turned around and 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 went back out and, and started scoffing and 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 went on with his madness, man. Start talking shit, you know. Like as if he didn't have an actual uh, dialect with the with the men of the Lord, and that he like he didn't get his uh, questions answered, you know. So uh, you know, when 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 somebody's sincere and they actually ask you a question, you're supposed to answer that person, you know. Because this is your faith. This is where your faith lies in. And you're supposed to d defend it. Alright? Now let me get into the aspect of uh, debating in wickedness. What these other guys are doing. Let me just get uh, 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. And the twentieth verse. 
I'm going to start at 19. It says, Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before the Most High and Yahweh Shai, but we do all things dearly beloved for your edifying. And that's basically what we're supposed to do. Let all things be done unto edification. Dude, anything you're supposed to do in this knowledge is supposed to be towards building up the church, which the church represents the elect, the members of the elect of, of the nation of Israel, man. You know, we're supposed to edify the elect and build them up. We ain't trying to we ain't trying to uh, amuse or entertain or or teach people that don't want to be taught. That's what these other guys are doing. The, the guys that are putting up or trying to contend with us. They ain't trying to be converted. They ain't trying to be edified. They trying to they trying to come against you with their worldly knowledge, the knowledge of the so called white man in particular, because that's what they doing if they pushing Egyptology on you, pushing another god on you. They they getting all that from the so called white man, and trying to push it upon you, try to convert you to to worship their god, which that's total wickedness, man. All right. And that scripture says, uh, for I fear lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as you would not, lest there be debates, envyings, wraths, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults, you know, and, and matter of fact, let's look these up while we at it. Salakia. These are the things that Paul said he don't he he would he wouldn't delight in finding those in the church of Corinth doing. You know, debates, strife, wrath. Not in the church. Let's look it up real quick. Here's for the word debates. It says, uh, what's the... Strong's G, 2054, Eris. 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 Basically, which means contention, strife, wrangling. You know? And we already know that this debate that's supposed to be coming up tomorrow, it's going to be nothing other than dudes getting together and just rang it, wrangling, man, you know, look that word wrangling up, well, it's right there, it basically says to have a long and complicated dispute, <laughs> and yes, it will be long and complicated, because y'all gonna, you're gonna get nowhere, one side's gonna debate, you know what I'm saying, with the knowledge that they got, and then the other side is gonna uh, do the same thing, the knowledge that they got, and basically you just you just fighting, you know what I'm saying, knowledge with knowledge, debating which knowledge is true. Well, I got a news flash for y'all. None of y'all are right, <laughs> you know. None of y'all are right. The one side that, that's supposed to be teaching the word of the Most High, you know, the ISUBK dudes, they don't even have the right doctrine. So they off too. And they finna try to debate y'all, you Egyptology dudes, which all y'all got is y'all knowledge is from this pedophile by the name of Malachi Z. York, man. So where, where, where y'all think y'all gonna get? What, what is this debate gonna do? For, for, for y'all cause, man. You're just going to make money. That's it. It's not going to take you out of the curses. It's not going to stop what's coming. It's not going to stop the prophecies. You know? The so-called white man moving on you like a flood. That's not going to stop that. You know? It's not going to stop Babylon from being destroyed. Our people being the most fucked up and simple being creatures... On the earth at the moment, this 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 not gonna uh, care that. So what are what are you gonna have this long dispute for? What for? 
you know. The scripture say, "Can talk could could two walk together lest they be agreed?" No. All right. Let's look up. Let's go back. Now that was for the word debate. Let's look up envyings. Mm -hmm. From the Greek word. Strong's G twenty two o five. Zeros. Zeros. Which basically is the excitement of mind, adore, fervor of spirit, you know, fierceness of indignation, punitive zeal, an envious and contentious rivalry, jealousy. I mean, come on, man. That that's you know we we don't we don't preach like that. We don't push that, you know. You zealous, but you zealous, you you guys are zealous towards the wrong the wrong things, man. You got a zeal, but it's according it's not according to knowledge, man. The right knowledge, the true wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know. Uh, it says strifes. You know. Uh, backbitings, which basically is what defamation, evil speaking, because that's what y'all. I know is that's what you uh, you unconscious house of blackness niggas. That's what y'all like to do. Y'all like to uh, you know, detract from each other's uh, when y'all when y'all bringing up a cause, y'all like to detract and start talking shit. You know that's that's what I, I noticed that that dude uh uh <laughs> such a shitty confetti you know he does that a lot man start talking loud and 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 cussing and all that man that that ain't no debate man it, it's it's all madness man you know and then no and then no light you know and and all them other clowns. When the elders, when they, when they uh, went back and forth with the elders, and the elders was basically cutting them up, they had no, they had nothing left but to go back and start uh, defaming our elders by saying that you know we, we teach that it's all right to, uh, to, to molest little children and 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 you know, rape rape little girls and all that. The elders don't teach that, man. We teach what's lawful according to the Bible, but we ain't out there. Telling brothers to go out and do do those things is it? It's not expedient. Of course, we know that's not what you need to be doing. But y'all take it and y'all run with it, man. You know. So the hell would uh, get involved with this this dumb debate, man. Look up this word, uh, swelling. So like you go back. Okay. Swelling. Strong's G fifty four fifty. Fusiosis. Fusiosis. And it says right there <laughs> a puffing up a puffing up of soul loftiness and pride. <laughs> Puffing up of soul, loftiness, and pride. That's exactly what you niggas do, man. And won't don't the scriptures say knowledge puffing up? But the bullshit ass knowledge that you got, you proud that you have that knowledge, man. The scriptures say the knowledge of of wickedness is not wisdom. But y'all proud, y'all proud to know that bullshit that y'all know, and and, and spewing it out to your own people, man. But you still ain't giving them the full knowledge because if you if you if you really believe in your heart that you're Africans, why you ain't teaching your people the practices that the Africans do according to their customs over there in the land of Africa? 
them Hamites over there, why you ain't teaching them those practices, man? You know? You ain't teaching your women to uh uncirc I mean to circumcise themselves so that you can uh so that only the man can have pleasure. <laughs> you know? You ain't you ain't you ain't uh partaking in those uh voodoo rituals that they do where they drink each other's blood. You ain't teaching them that either, man. But you but you straight up and down believe that y'all are Egyptians. The hell out of here, man. And you and you take pride in it. That's why the most high gonna have a field day with you niggas, man. When the most high when he pull up when he pour out his wrath and, and he doesn't and he doesn't stop. It, it's it, it's over for you niggas, man. The Lord, the Lord is going is going to roast you niggas like a like a, a turkey, you know. Or he going to send the so called white man to torture the fuck out of you, you know. So we, you know, what I'm saying, Lord willing, man, the brothers that's in, that's in this thing, man, you know, stay stay in the faith, man, and and, and continue to push this word, cause. The, with with the most I got coming for these other clowns, man, you, you don't want you don't want to partake in none of that, man. You want to hope that the Lord have mercy on you, cause he, cause these other guys, man, that's lifted up in their pride the way they are. The Lord got something brewing for their asses, man. You know. Now let me go to uh, Titus. Third chapter. And I'm going to start at the top. This is Titus 3 and 1. It says, Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. Yeah, when we was in the world, yeah, we, we did have these uh, attributes about us. But that old man should be done away with, man. He's supposed to be renewed in the spirit by now, you know. For, for us men that, that is, you know, in his knowledge, you know. And when we out there speaking, there's times where we're going to be gentle and meekness. You know, especially to those that are sincere, and we answer all questions, you know, just so that we know what we're doing on our part is to basically wake up the elect, you know, and we and we acknowledge that, you know, some of them, you know what I'm saying, they might have these same attributes that we once had, you know, before they, before we came in, they might have those same things, so we got to bear with them, but sometimes it'd be other points in time when we ain't, you know, we ain't with the foolish games, man. We ain't taking no shit. Either you sincere and you you with it, or you not. You know. Uh, moving on, it says, uh, but after that, the kindness and love of Yahweh, our Savior, towards man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. You know, and that's a whole other topic right there. We, you know, um. We could always touch on that, you know what I'm saying, Lord willing, we could do a lesson on that as well. Uh, moving on, it says, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shai, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in the Most High might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Yeah, when you when you uh, believe in the Lord and you and and you labor in His work and His truth, that's what's profitable unto you. Not not going out and 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 setting up a debate and trying to make money off of you know the average nigga who wants to be entertained. That's not profitable unto you, man. Okay, verse verse nine, and this is the point. But avoid foolish questions, 
because you know that also goes on in in these debates foolish questions you know a asking simple shit you know let's let's be serious here man why why are you asking foolish ass questions you know scoffing questions questions that that doesn't edify or that doesn't you know open up the eye of the next man that may have had the same question a sincere question all right it says and genealogies and contentions because getting into the genealogy thing you guys always push that dna shit man well brothers then already d debunked that that d that dna shit holds no merit at all so that you can't bring up the dna you know once you guys go and uh take dna tests if you totally believe that you're israelites well this ain't what this is about man this is this is based on faith man the spirit bear for our uh spirit that we are the children of the most high man fuck a dna test you know and it says and contentions and strivings about the law for they are unprofitable and vain and that's basically what's going to happen tomorrow at this debate man you know it, it, it's just going to be a waste of time. And it's going to be very unprofitable and vain. Nobody's going to wake up out of that. Nobody's going to be converted. It's just going to be a bunch of back and forth. Nobody's going to get nowhere. It's going to be a nothing but, you know, strife of words. You know, this man using his $10,000 words. This other man is just, you know, that's all it's going to be, you know. Now let's go from here to uh First Timothy the sixth chapter. It says, uh, if any man this is uh first Timothy six and three, if any man teach otherwise consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shah, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil summarizings. So basically, it says, if you ain't, if you don't consent to the to this truth, to this knowledge, to this doctrine, but you 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 trying to teach otherwise, you 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 nothing but a proud ass nigga that don't know nothing, man. You don't know anything. The fool, the the the. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. You don't know shit. Okay? It says, but doting about questions and strife of words. You know, that's what that's what happens during the debates. Uh, where if come if envy, strife, you know. Fights break out at y'all uh, debates. You know, it's footage of that. You know, you... you, de you Y'all, y'all bringing y'all madness to the forefront while something happens in the crowd, man. Cause somebody didn't like what you said, or you know, some some type of confusion, man. The Most High, he ain't an author of confusion, man. And neither, you know, that's why we don't we don't need that in the churches, man. And that's another reason why women shouldn't speak in the churches, man. Cause it brings nothing but confusion. All right, and that's a, and that's what happened. When 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 y'all had that first debate, when when No Light's wife, you know, spooled out that that stupid shit she said, and made every it made everybody damn near everybody on that side look like a damn idiot. That that brought confusion, man. And she made you look like an ass. <laughs> she made this dude look like a straight up ass, man. You know. Let's look up this word uh, summarizing. Or a salakia, a sermon Strong's G, 5283. Upanoya. Upanoya. And it just says here in a blue letter, a sermon Well, let's go to the definition. <laughs> the definition is right there. If you can see it, to sermis, to sermis. To suppose that something is true without having evidence to confirm it. <laughs> we still don't have the evidence that women can nut on themselves and have babies, man. 
I, I, I'm still trying to figure that one out, man. You know? But, but this is what goes on at, at your debates, man. Evil sermons. You know? We, when we bring out something, it's it's gonna be factual, or else we 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 making shit up if we if we don't do that if we don't do our research, man. And that's the difference between these other Israelite groups and the brothers here at GMS. We bring out the facts, man. Now, First uh, Timothy six and five, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Yeah, y'all don't have the truth, man. And you do got corrupt minds, you know, to think that it's it's cool to, to uh, make a profit off of teaching lies and teaching doctrines of wicked men, doctrines of devils, you know, $30, $30 out the door, $20 commit a, a, a mission, you know, to come over there and get, come to pay to, to get into this, this debate. So you can sit there for a couple hours and get entertained by two men going back and forth that's not going to agree with each other and, 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 and teaching lies, man. you paying to get lied to just like your church. <laughs> and it says, and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. You know, and, and Paul Light got a doctrine like that too. Supposing that, you know, getting getting your life together and, and uh you know set setting uh basically uh having a place in society to sustain yourself, you know, with success, you know, uh to own you a house and, and live the American dream and shit like that. You know, that's what he's teaching, man. Scriptures say, withdraw yourself from such person, man. Straight up. Now, uh, let me get a couple, two more, a couple more scriptures, and uh, I'm gonna basically cut it short. Um, this is a uh, Proverbs twenty-six and four. It says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be also like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. And that's the reason why we may answer certain questions that are sincere. You know what I mean? And, and, and uh, you know, certain dudes that try to act like they're wise and they ask certain questions, we'll answer them and shut them down. Just like what he tried to do when he bring out, uh, the scripture about uh, thou shalt not a poor a Edomite or Egyptian because thou was a stranger in this land. We shut that down, man. Brothers, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we, we, we cut him down with that, man. But you know that dude is still going to be uh, proud. You know, he still got that pride. He got to live up to his name, you know. But we, we, we'll answer you with the truth, man. But if you come in with folly, with, with madness... You know, you want to come with, with uh, slanders and all type of shit, like Yohanna does, we're not going to answer because it's like you wasting time. Why why answer a, 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 a foolish question when, when, when all that's going to do is basically lead to both of y'all looking like idiots? You'd be just like him. You'd be a fool, man. So don't, you know, we, we'd, be a, we'd be a fool wasting our time answering silly ass questions, man. And back when that whole thing that was going on between the ISUPK and 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 uh, brothers here at GMS, starting with the elders, we would answer questions and and cut them up. But they would, would would sometimes they would question us. It would be based off of he say she say shit, you know. So uh, do y'all believe in uh, but raping little girls and this and that and the third? We're not gonna answer that, man, because you being a fucking asshole, man. You know, we ain't going to play into your little games that y'all like to play. You know? And uh, the last scripture, it's in the Apocrypha. I'm going to read it in my sword over here real quick. And I'm going to end it, you know, with this scripture. Uh, this is uh, Sarat 22 
and 13, it says, Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that have no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou hate trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. <laughs> defiled with his fooleries. You know? And it says, Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. If, if you go back and forth with a man that doesn't agree with you, but he's just bringing out his folly... It's not, it's not going to be no rest, man. Y'all just going to keep going all day and night, you know, day in and day out, man. You, you're not getting nowhere with it whatsoever. That man is so hard. He's so uh, stiff-necked and hard-hearted that no matter what you say to this man, he's going to continue to keep, keep coming against you and try to bring his foolery into it, man. So it's best for you to just, to just, just leave it alone. Let the Lord deal with those, with these, uh, these, these scoffers, man. These hard-headed as Israelites, man. The nation of Israel, you know. So, uh, with that, you know, I just want to shed some light on that. You know, I want to give all praise and glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. And, uh, salutations to all you sincere brothers out there that's out there laboring, man. You know, and with that, you know, Charlotte